Okay. So um, when going over this one, Russell, basically, again, we're just going to follow the same procedure. And it kind of gets a little bit redundant. But it's the main important thing is just understanding, yes, we're doing the same thing. We're going to determine our LCD first. And again, here, we see that they have no common elements. So we're just going to take their product, which would be x minus 6 and 2x plus 1. Right? So really identifying the LCD, I, don't, I actually think when you have expressions, when you don't have any common elements, it can actually be fairly simple. You're just taking the product. Then, so now we have to get, we have to multiply x minus 6 times x minus 6. And then over here, I have to multiply by 2x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. Now, in this case, obviously, we're going to have to distribute. Um, I'm going to distribute these, again, by using FOIL. All right. So when applying FOIL, I get a negative 6x squared minus 3x plus 2x plus 1. And then plus 2x squared, or 2x minus 12. And that's all over my common denominator. All right, now I didn't simplify this, but I left it all multiplied out so you guys could, one, check my work and then also see where I get my answers. So I kind of left it unsimplified here. So now, the next thing is obviously we're going to have to combine like terms. Now, what's also nice about this is, we understand that these are all like terms, and then these two are all like terms. So now my final answer could be negative 6x squared. This becomes uh, negative x plus uh, 2x would be plus x. And 1 minus 12 would be negative 11 divided by x minus 6 times 2x plus 1. Now, obviously, we could go ahead and multiply this out. But again, as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not really as much as a um, stickler for these problems you guys having to multiply these out. I like to leave them in the factored form. The reason why I didn't leave these in the factored form is because a lot of times we like to simplify our numerator. But the main important thing is also understanding your constraints, which would be 6 and x equals negative 1 half. Do you guys see how I got negative 1 half? Basically, I took 2x plus 1 and set it equal to 0 and solved for it in my head. Excuse me, Mr. Mike Logan. I'm yes. Sorry. It's OK. Do we have Harvey? Flores and